Now, we've brought you stories on the abuse of tramadol, a synthetic opioid, by many young Ghanaians. A national debate ensued on the impact of this abuse on the health and future of Ghana's youth and how to to end the menace. Well, the Mental Health Authority has been meeting key players in the fight against tramadol abuse and came up with some recommendations I'll be showing you later. But now, uh, let me take you to the FDA's uh, conference or discussion on how to end tramadol abuse. The health I'm minister is currently speaking. To be invited to participate in this important life-saving initiative. Government is supporting and will continue to support initiatives aimed at improving the health of our citizens. Investing in people is one of the appropriate strategies to improve the standard of living of Ghanaians. Investing in people should be complemented by investments in health and Ghana's socioeconomic standards can only be improved by healthy citizens. Counterfeit medication or counterfeit drug is a medication which is produced and sold with the intent to deceptively represent its origin, authenticity, or effectiveness. A counterfeit drug may contain inappropriate quantities of ingredients, or probably even none, may be improperly processed within the body may contain ingredients that are not on the label or may be supplied in the illicit supply chain. They are also found to commonly contain cornstarch, potato starch, sawdust, or even chalk. The menace of pharmaceutical crime has become a global phenomenon which is a threat to public health and poses a significant threat to security and economies of countries. Production and trafficking in violence is a multi-billion illegal business, which is sustained largely by the lure of high financial gains, combined with a perceived low risk of detection and prosecution. By WHO, an estimated one in 10 medical products in low and middle income countries is substandard or falsified. And on the Ghanaian market, you can find everything. The recent issues on the abuse of drugs, including tramadol and codeine, has become a national threat which requires a concerted effort by all stakeholders to curb it. The effects of drug abuse on the individual, society, and the nation at large includes, but not limited, to the following. Loss of revenue, the nation loses money in the form of tax to cater for drug addicts at the psychiatric hospitals, prisons, and rehab centers. Loss of productivity, these victims become inefficient of workplaces, the result in less and less production efforts. Injuries and fatalities due to road accidents and their related consequential health and vehicle maintenance expenditures. We spend so much on even repairing the body parts of vehicles that get involved in accidents. And all are imported and paid for in scarce resources, dollars in our country. Child exploitation. In some neighborhoods, younger children are recruited as lookups and drug peddlers for drug peddlers because of the lighter sentences given to juvenile offenders. The current upset of kidney problems, there are related costs of treatment. Crime rates will definitely increase and drug-related crimes, including violence, individual uses, and gangs. To address these threats effectively, will require multi-sectorial cooperation among stakeholders, 
gathered here today. Combating counterfeit medicines and drug abuse is everyone's responsibility, from government, industry, policymakers, civil society, the media, and right down to individual consumers. On the part of government, we have quite recently launched the antimicrobial resistance policy, as well as its national action or implementation plan. We're targeting in five years to implement several activities, including amending some of our laws or even enacting new legislation to try to see how we can deepen. We've completed the medicines policy also with this implementation plan, which will soon be launched. And we believe that the implementation of these policies, as I said, will deepen our efforts towards fighting and combating the menace. I will urge all gathered here to come out with proactive and sustainable measures in fighting counterfeit and drug abuse. At this stage, I wish you all a fruitful workshop and promise the commitment of my ministry and the government of Ghana in the implementation of the outcome of this particular workshop. I thank you so much. Health Minister Kweku Ajaman Menu there will bring you more stories from that uh, forum or stakeholder discussion on how uh, to combat counterfeit medicine and drug abuse.